season. So too has Mancini. So too have these spectators. That's what they do these days. Doing the Poznan. Hart up and away to glory for Manchester City. The wait is over. The first trophy since 1976. Roberto Mancini has brought it home to the sky blue half of Manchester. That banner at Old Trafford that has mocked Manchester United's rivals' lack of success along the years will have to come down. The blue moon is rising. Manchester City are the FA Cup winners. And they deserve it as well. They've been the better team. But their celebrity supporters as well. Liam Gallagher's waited a long time. Every Manchester City fan has waited in many cases a lifetime for this. The blue flags wave. The celebration started quite some time ago, to be honest. One trophy, that's what they said. The Sheikh Mansour millions have been injected into the team. The general feeling is the first one's the most important. They've got it. The trophy cabinet bear no more. And I thought they played well, particularly the first half today. They dominated the game, they dominated midfield, they had the better technical players. And what a moment. The Yaya Toure. It was excellent throughout the game, but that great opportunity in it. Show what it means to those old players as well. The last lot to win the FA Cup for Manchester City. They don't mind that their names are just uh, playing second fiddle just for a while because the current generation of superstars has risen to the mark today. Big games need big players. Yaya Toure, the biggest of them all out there. Yeah, play the best. Wrapped in the flag of his native Argentina, appropriate colours. Carlos Tevez leads his team up the steps to take the trophy, get his winner's medal, take the honours, and go down in Manchester City history. You haven't won a trophy since 1976, the next group of players to do it. We're always going to be fated forever, and it would be fitting if he kicks that red and black scarf on. Those were the colours they wore in 1969. The goal-scoring hero that day, Neil Young, sadly passed away in February after a long battle with cancer. There was a feeling around the football club that, as a result of that, it was a poignant moment. This was the time when that duck would be broken and the FA Cup would come back to the blue half of the city of Manchester. England's football city. There's the man who made the goal in 69, Mike Summerby, who's still, when you meet him and talk to him, just about the biggest Man City fan around. He was a wonderful winger, wasn't he? Great winger, gets crosses in. In 1976, Manchester City's last trophy. 35 years on, they are winners once more. The long wait for a trophy to take home is over. The players will collect their winners' medals from Corporal Mark Ward. They'll all gather together. They'll get ready as a team to lift the FA Cup high. The ribbons are on, the ribbons are blue. Manchester City are FA Cup winners.
one to eight. Outstanding all season. Edin Dzeko, yet to really get his Manchester City career off the ground yet. His goals will come, his time will come, other great players will come. Got some bad ones there at the moment. I thought Gareth Barry in the first, I know he was taken off in the second half, but he was instrumental in running that midfield in that first 45 minutes. And what a few weeks Yaya Toure has had. Nigel De Jong gets a great cheer for the way he goes about his job at the centre of the pitch. Just going back to Yaya Torres, young Dedrick Boyata gets his hands on the cup. The only goal of the semi-final here at Wembley against Manchester United. Only way, one way to top that, he did it. And Roberto Mancini brings a trophy to Manchester City. Lovely moment too for Bernard Halpern. For 50 years he's been involved in the professional game, first with Oldham, then with Manchester City. For many he is Mr Manchester City. Keeps the club running on an admin side. And only right that he should play his part in these celebrations. He's seen the lock. He's not had a great deal to cheer. But as Gary Cook, the chief executive, has a word in his ear, it'll all seem worth it now to the likes of him, to the likes of every Manchester City supporter who has gone through some very, very difficult days. Let's not forget the last time they were here at the old Wembley, they were getting out of the old third division. Well, the third division as it was on penalties against Gillingham by the skin of their team. That was 1999. Who can look on from then and really believe that Manchester City will be where they are now? Now, of course, a lot of money has taken it, but the players, I think this season, even when they've been under pressure, yes, they've had their problems at times with the manager, descent towards the manager, but they've still put in good performances. And I think they will build on this. Will it be enough to keep Carlos Tevez at the football club? There's always been rumours that he wants to leave. But this was a big moment. Mancini showed faith in him by playing him from the start. And he repaid that faith by putting in a really good display. Next target for Manchester City, overhauling Arsenal and finishing third. If you finish in the top three in the Premier League in England, it means an automatic place in the Champions League. Could be huge, that. Finish fourth and have to go in a playoff, you might have Bayern Munich or Valencia to negotiate. There's going to be some big teams in that playoff. What a damn squid that would be if you lost in that qualifying round to get into the Champions League. Can still get into third. Arsenal are really going nowhere at the moment. Carlos Tevez can't wait to get to the winner's podium. Premier League winner with Manchester United. I dare say right now this means a whole lot more. Absolutely. The latest one always means the most, but at a club that haven't won anything for so long, he was held up as the new style of the football club, taken from Manchester United. Now he gets the chance to lift the trophy again with the now traditional scenes of frenzied celebration from the players. got any blue in your heart at all tonight will be a long night for you there'll be at least a couple of the people in the ground who will be in particular rocking along to this one you've got to roll with it what Manchester City have had to do for so long through particularly rocky times. Now there's some stylish managers that don't want their hair messed up by champagne, isn't it? I think Mancini's one of those. Not like Harry Redknapp in the Champions League, well, when they qualified for the Champions League last year. I don't think he'll want his suit and his hair messed up. The inflatable bananas are back. Trey Spark by Imri Varadi's arrival at Manchester City way back when. And there's Liam Gallagher. They're playing his song. of rosé in hand and very civilised they might sing along to his uh, own song now but they can tear down that sign at Old Trafford can't they Manchester City have finally done it they have silverware let's go back over to Wembley and our reporter Kerry Brown is still there Thank you, Angus. As you can see, over my shoulder, the City fans are winning the FA Cup. Have realised the downfall of that let Bosnian celebration. Who